Now to a story you will only see here on Action 2 News. It is a cute one. Hobart Lawrence Police and the De Pere Fire Department will now each have a therapy dog. Arlo and Stanley are Labradoodle brothers and will now do their part to help those agencies. Brittany Schmidt had the pleasure of meeting those puppies and holding them. Oh, yeah, I know, bro. tough assignment, Brittany. <laughs> so, so tell us about these uh, little cuties and uh, that after training, they, they will have an important job. They do, and, and they don't know it yet, and they're already <laughs> making a difference, but they will. So these dogs, they're brothers, like you said, they're Labradoodles, and so um, Arlo will be with Hobart Lawrence Police Department, and he will be, their handler is a school resource officer, so he will be in an elementary school, but he'll also be out on patrol. And his role, you know, we talk about canines in law enforcement often, and some of them have a very important job to do, right? To find a suspect, take down apprehension. Well, Arlo is going to have a very different job. He is going to be the one that kind of helps at high risk situations to help de-escalate whether it's a mental health crisis call and, you know, the dog will just help to bring that comfort to, you know, either a victim, a child, that kind of sense. Mm -hmm. So that's what his role will be due. And then you have Stanley over at De Pere Fire and Rescue, and he is going to be there. He's going to be the, you know, kind of like the station dog, the family dog there, the one around the table. Um, he's specifically there for the EMTs and the firefighters, you know, when they go out on tough calls, they come home and they're going to have that family dog there to greet them. So it's all about love and comfort and just feeling good. Absolutely. It <laughs> are, really are, is. are these kinds of therapy dogs? I guess I I hadn't heard about them before. Is it kind of a new concept or program, if you will? It kind of is. And and, I, and when I was talking kind of to Depeer, they kind of feel like they're on the front end of this kind of movement. We talk about mental health so much recently, especially mm -hmm. after the pandemic. And then we talk about first responders and the things that they see on a daily basis. When I was talking to a few of the first responders, they said, yeah, it's going to be kind of nice to come back because after some of those tough calls, words are sometimes hard to find, right? right. Difficult to enunciate and figure out how you're feeling. Um, but a lot of them kind of speak the universal language of dog. You know, you don't have to say anything and it's going to be there to comfort you. So really that's part of it. And then when you talk about just the community aspect of having a dog that can kind of ease situations once they are safe and deemed safe um, to kind of ease those situations, truly a big impact here locally. And we were talking and uh, you mentioned, I mean, these dogs are really a gift from the community mm -hmm. to these departments. Yeah, and they, they talked a little bit about that. So this is, you know, a supportive effort effort for them and these dogs were were funded through community donations. So truly a gift, like you said, from the community, which adds just a little bit more support for these first responders for what they do day in and day out to be those first responders to protect our community. So truly they're appreciative and they're excited and they have a lot of training <laughs> left to do. You see they're really little. Um, but they have some big shoes to fill and they're already doing it. And they grow fast. <laughs> they do. <laughs> All right, Brittany, thanks. Look forward to your story coming up tonight at 6.